Hey there, welcome to this Wondershare demo. My name is Luke, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing an introduction to PDF Element for Mac. This app is packed full of amazing features, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So when you're using a PDF editor app, you of course wanna be able to mark up your documents. The first tab we have here is the markup tool. You can do a bunch of basic formatting such as highlighting and underlining, but what I find really useful are some of the shapes and stamp options. We have the ability to drag out standard shapes or even draw a custom object if needed. Then we also have a ton of different stamp options which can be used to update its status or point out certain parts of your document. Maybe if you need someone to sign, you can point that out where the signature will go. We also have the ability to create sticky notes and comment anywhere we want. And these will still work even if you open the document in another app like Preview. Next on the text tab, we have the ability to actually edit any text elements in the document. PDF element will actually identify which font is being used, so when you start typing, it looks exactly like the original text. This can be really useful if you're using a template where you might need to change certain placeholder items. So for example, if we wanted to use a company logo, instead of just typing text for this invoice template, we can delete the text element entirely. Then if we go to the image tab on the left, we can drop in a logo image. Next, let's talk about converting a document. This is probably one of the most powerful features of this app. When we're done working on a document, we can click on export and you'll see we have a bunch of different options. Since I work on a Mac, I'll select pages and you can see that if I open up that converted document, it works just like any other pages document would. Now we can search for any text we want through this document by clicking on the search tool here on the right. But let's say you took a picture of a physical piece of paper or you're editing an image. We can actually use the OCR text reduction tool, which will scan the document and effectively turn it into searchable text. It's pretty neat and very fast. Taking a look at some of the other tools we have, we can create editable PDFs for forms and other collaborative documents like a lease or an agreement. All we have to do is simply click on the form tab and add a variety of editable elements, including text inputs, checkboxes, dropdown lists, and signature fields. Once you save the document, the PDF will be editable in any editor. This feature works really well with the data extraction tool. When you open up any PDF with interactive fields, PDF element can actually export all of that data to a CSV file. This is especially useful if you work with a lot of documents and a lot of data, you can just quickly export all of that in bulk. Now the last feature I'll highlight is the encryption that you can use for your documents. All we have to do is click on file at the top, then click protect and then encrypt with password. Then you can set a security level, permissions and add a password to keep the document secure. Now, while we don't have time to get into all the features of this app, those are just some of the highlights to get you familiar with PDF elements on Mac, including compressing and flattening a PDF or adding watermarks and backgrounds. If you're interested in PDF element, don't forget to click the link below for a free trial for PDF element on Mac, or if you're on Windows, there's a link for PC users as well. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. If so, be sure to like and subscribe down below for more information about Wondershare. If you have any ideas about PDF Element, please leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to answer them. Thanks and we'll see you next time.